Welcome to Advan Black's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, the service tech for Advan Black, and today I've got a really cool product to show you. This is a brand new headlight that just came out from Advan Black, and it is our Pro Fusion headlight. As you can see, this headlight's a little bit more unique. We do have the white halo ring on the outside, and of course, the projector lens on the inside. This is going to be a 5000K bright white light. It is all LED, waterproof, shatterproof lens on the outside, just like our Pro Radiance lights. It just has a little bit different inside. Between the halo and the projector itself, you've got multiple leds and here on the back side of the plug you have two wires but hooking up the red wire to an accessory plug on your motorcycle will you give you the bright white leds around that today we're going to be doing this on a 14 and up street glide so we are going to be using our headlight adapter as well we're going to take the stock headlight out and put the led in so let's get the camera over here and i'll show you how to do that taking your old headlight out is very simple make sure to protect your front fender so you don't have anything come down and hitting your fender but right down here at the bottom of your beauty ring you'll see a screw it's going to be a phillips head screw so we're just going to get in here and take this out and set this to the side because we are going to reuse this once you have the screw out you're going to grab the bezel and you're going to twist it counterclockwise like this until it comes off now inside the headlight bezel you have several different screws and you want to make sure that you take out the right ones you just want to take off the ring right here so if you follow the ring you've got a phillips head screw here you've got one here and you've got one at the top if you if on the torx head screws that will the Torx head screws that you see here will adjust the up and down and the left and right of the light. And then the Torx head screws that you see all the way in the back is the actual headlight frame itself. So we don't want to take those out. Just take the Phillips screws out to remove the ring. We will reuse these. Once you get those three screws out, you can take the ring off, then your headlight will come down. And you'll see on the back side, you've got two plugs. These are two H11 bulbs that are in here. If you follow this back, you're going to see that it plugs in right here like this. You unplug that. So from there, we're gonna take our new wire harness and go ahead and plug that in. Listen for the click, give it a little pull, make sure it's connected. And on this end, you'll see one. So this wire adapter basically converts your two bulbs into one because on the back side of our LED, we only have one plug. And on this particular model headlight, we will not be using the blue or the black. The black is of course a ground and the blue is gonna be an additional accessory, which we're not going to use. So you can just simply push those off to the side. We're gonna bring our new headlight up in. We're gonna look for the lettering on here make sure that you can read the lettering it goes up just like that on the back side of the headlight you can see these three squares these three squares actually line up with the three squares in the adjustment bezel so it'll only go in one way we're going to go ahead and plug this in so leaving it set just like that we're going to go ahead and test the light now inside the kit you'll also get an additional red wire with a male spade connector on that we're going to take the male spade connector we're going to connect it to the red female spade connector on the headlight and that is going to go to an accessory wire on your bike so i've taken the outer fairing off so you can see the headlight wires and stuff a lot better than trying to look down in that hole you definitely do not have to take the outer fairing off but your headlight wires that come down that you just plug the adapter into if you look at the top wires you'll see a black a blue yellow a blue white and a blue this blue over here is a constant on so we've taken our red wire and we've clamshelled it into that blue because that's a key on. It doesn't change whether or not you hit the brights or you don't hit the brights. So what I'm gonna do now is kick the light on. We're gonna take the other end of that. We're gonna go to the back of the headlight. We have a red and a green wire. The red wire, you can watch when I plug this in, it's going to turn all of those lights on in a sequence and then turn the white halo on. On the green wire, it's just going to be a amber on. There's no sequence or anything like that, but it turns this ring amber. With a central headlight, I really do not recommend that you run the amber. This would be more like for a turn signal with a two headlight setup. So we're not gonna be using the green. You're going to plug into the red. Your halo light comes on. And as you can see with the high and low beam, that does not change. So with this red wire, you absolutely can connect it to any accessory on wire that's underneath your fairing. On the inner fairing, you have that little auxiliary cigarette lighter port that's over there. That's going to be a, a, a key on accessory wire as well. It does not take a lot of power to run the LED halo that's on there. So once we have that clamshell on and connected, we're going to go ahead and connect our headlight. We're going to take our red wire and we're going to plug it into the red on the back of the headlight. Once you get it all connected, we're going to, have to tuck our wires back in. 
gonna set the headlight in. I'm gonna line up those squares on the back until it falls directly into place. Just like that, like I said, it'll only go one way. Pay very close attention to this as well. If this is not turned correctly, one hole will line up and the others will not. This one is off now. We'll go one more. You'll see this one is on, this one's off, this one's off. So this only goes one way as well. So you've got three, make sure they're lined up. And just remember, don't mess with any of the Torx head screws under there or you will be adjusting your headlights. So just remember all the screws that we took out were Phillips. If you find yourself with a Torx bit in hand going at one of these bolts, you are going to be adjusting your headlights. So just make sure that you take out the three proper screws when you're doing this. Right down here at the bottom was that screw hole. So if we line it up like that and we kick it counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn, you'll feel it kind of fall into place. About right there, how it fell in. Then we're gonna turn that back until that hole lines up in the bottom down there. Take our Phillips screw. Run that back in and you're done. So that's pretty much it. Pretty easy to do. One Phillips screwdriver and that changes your stock headlight to an LED Pro Fusion headlight. If you have any questions on this, you know the deal. Comment section down below. I'll try to help you the best that I can. And if you want to get your hands on one of these, I'll put the link down in the description down below. It'll take you straight over to the Advan Black website and you can purchase it over there. For the first few days that the video is online, you'll have to purchase this headlight through an authorized dealer. So depending on when you're watching this video, if there's a link down below, you can click that and it will take you straight over to Advan Black's website and you can purchase it over there. I'm going to get out of here and get back to work. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, as always, be safe. Keep your knees in the breeze.